Back from a storm of this caliber, people are doing a lot of cleaning up today. Well, besides downing power lines, the winds also peeled back roofs and toppled trees. The vicious winds that blew in from the northwest last night and swept across the Dayton region were especially damaging in Montgomery, Green, and Clinton counties. Now, even though we mentioned no tornadoes were reported, some storm sirens wailed as the winds reached 70 miles an hour. Megan O'Rourke is live in Kettering to show us some of that damage. Megan? Mark Michelle, right now work is winding down for the day here on Bell Oak Drive in Kettering. The scene of some of the worst storm damage we spotted today. Now you can see this home was literally ripped into two pieces and putting it back together is proving to be a tall task. 122 feet of pig nut hickory blanket Mike Bond's Kettering home. Buried under the branches are Bond's kitchen, laundry room, a newly constructed sunroom, and two cars, one with only 400 miles under the hood. It's uh, pretty much totaled two-thirds of our house. The several decade-old trees snapped at the base during Monday night's storm. Bond and his wife were in a back bedroom when they heard the crash. And then we walked down the hallway and obviously saw the carnage in the rest of the room. A surprise since Bond says he babies all the trees on his property, to the point he didn't lose a single branch during the big windstorm a few years ago. Well, it's my turn. <laughs> it was my turn. But experts say Mother Nature doesn't discriminate, and with winds like we saw on Monday, no tree was safe. Any tree can fall over. Gary McKee owns time. Woody Tree Medic, and his team was tasked with cleaning all this up. It's really a time consuming, yet uh, kind of like building a puzzle. You got to figure out the right strategy on what limbs. And as work got underway, a neighborhood watch was truly in effect. Several folks lined the sidewalks, looking on as the tree was taken apart. Yes bad for the people that live there, making sure nobody got hurt. But Vaughn isn't feeling sorry for himself. Instead, he's counting his blessings. Uh, this is just material. It could be replaced. Now, as you just heard, the homeowner is handling better than many of us would even, joking that at least he won't have to have his roof inspected for hail damage. However, cleanup is going to take some time, so at least for the time being, the family here will be staying in a hotel. Reporting live in Kettering, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.